o'clock, so I guess we'll begin. And we're going to start on our, um, we're going to start actually uh, seated tonight. Um, actually, though, if uh, you don't want to start seated and you prefer, you don't want to start seated and you prefer to stand, um, that's great as well. So if you did sit all day, um, you may prefer to stand for this part. Um, so for people just joining, uh, a pillow tonight, a chair, possibly um, a strap. Um, I'm using a bolster to sit on, but you can sit on your cushion. I have a blanket because we're going to be on our hands and knees, so a bit of cushioning for the knees. And we are going to use a block, but if you don't have a block, um, a book is going to work just as well. Okay. So like I said, we're going to start on our bottoms tonight. Hope everybody had a great day. It was beautiful this morning and here, and then it snowed, and then it got all nice again. Um, okay, I'm gonna pull the camera in a little bit, I think. Okay. So I like sitting up on something quite high, and if you are going to sit, cross your legs the opposite way that you normally um, cross them, but again, you can um, sit however is comfortable for you. You can sit on your knees. Um, one thing I recommend is that you're able to sit, um, I have somebody else coming in, so that you're able to sit up um, on your sit bones. Nice and easy, or nice and comfortable. Okay. So for the person just coming in, um, you need, again, a pillow block. I'm using a bolster tonight, but a blanket for your knees and a strap. So coming to our bones, I'm going to cross my legs the opposite direction that I normally would uh, habitually cross them. We're going to start with the breath. So just getting a sense that you're sitting on top of those sit bones. I like sometimes to even move like some fleshy bits from to the side so you can really get a sense of anchoring down through those sit bones. So sitting on the sit bones and then feeling lengthening in the back body. So more, um, we don't want to compress and move our chest up. It's more of elongation up towards the ceiling, almost feeling like the, the chest is stretching out a little tuck in the chin to make the neck feel nice and long in the back. I have somebody else coming in. I probably started a bit too early. Okay. It's taking me a while to, sorry about this guys, everybody who started already, okay. Hello. Okay, we've already started, but that's fine. Um, Sitting on our bones, getting a sense of the sit bones, taking breaths in, sitting up nice and tall. <clears throat> so just trying to connect. Big breaths in, big breath in through the nose and just let it out through the mouth a couple of times taking the time to get centered. You may have to tuck the chin again a little bit if you found that the chin started to come out again. And with every exhale, I want you to relax. So still sitting straight. But just relax in the back, relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. Relax that space between the eyes. Just sitting here sometimes may cause a little tension even. Make sure you're in no pain and adjust if you are to sit in a different way. And try to breathe with ease. 
So letting go of any tension or tight muscles or gripping. And just allow your cell to soften. And allow your belly to rise and fall with every breath. You can have the arms, the hands can be on your lap, so it's nice also if you're up a little bit, sitting up a bit to let the arms just relax and release from the shoulders down by your sides. And this time I want you to take a big breath and try to bring it all the way up so that your roots expand. So bring the breath up to the roots. Feeling the rib cage expand all the way around and come in. Another one like that. And out through the mouth if you wish. I'm going to tuck the chin now down towards the chest. I'm just going to let the head hang there for a moment. You're not rounding in the shoulders, you're just letting the neck release. Chin is towards the chest. And we're going to do a little half circle, so just the bottom part of the circle. I'm going to come around to one shoulder, coming around to the other side. Take a big, big breath in and then exhale. And down and up to the other side and inhale. And then exhale down and around to the other side. And then we'll bring that circle all the way around. Move with the breath. Make sure not to be tense anywhere. We're going to go in the opposite direction. Just one big circle. And come forward. You can open your eyes. Notice how you feel. Take another breath. Now we're going to begin with the right shoulder and we're just going to set the shoulder back. So we're just going to roll the shoulder back so you can feel that the shoulder blade is nice and um, flush with your back, like your back ribs. And then I'm just going to hold the shoulder there and I'm going to turn my head in the opposite direction. So I'm holding my shoulder there just as a reminder for it to not to come forward. I'm turning my head to look in the opposite direction and then you're going to jut your jaw so the bottom of your jaw is going to jut out and then you're going to look up. So it's like an underbite. Stretch up. Come down and come forward. Again, set the shoulder back. So you're going to look over the opposite shoulder, jut the jaw out like an underbite, and then just reach your head to look up. Okay, set the shoulder, turn. Come back and make sure you breathe. So it should be just like one breath. We'll do that again. I'm just going to set the shoulder back, turn my head, jet the jaw. And come down. We're going to move on to the other side. So we're going to move the shoulder back, set it back, place a hand there to remind it to be still. And I'll move over to the other side. So move with your breath, okay? So I'm going to turn, I'm going to take a breath here. Jut the jaw and the exhale. And lift up. Come down, come forward. So you're not straining past uh, any boundary here. There should be no pain. It should feel very nice. So we're going again. Just head the shoulder back, look over, jut the jaw.
come down and one more time. Set the shoulder back. Come down oh, and come forward. Now take the palms of your hands and just, um, we're gonna start and just do this other nice jaw release. So we're going to start like at the kind of the cheekbones, corner of the cheekbones and move down the jaw. And as you get to the bottom, you're gonna jut the jaw out again. So that underbite and just come along the jaw line. So open my mouth, jut the jaw. Oh, and do that three times. So now take a breath. Exhale, move the hands down along the jaw, drop the jaw. And we'll do that one more time. There. So I'm just gonna bring the left ear down to the left shoulder, extend the right arm, palm facing up. Take a breath. Exhale, come down, and then the other side. And then come up. Uh, so just a couple shoulder rolls here. So really bringing the shoulders up towards the ear and squeezing the shoulder blades and move the shoulders down. So bringing the shoulders up towards the ear, squeeze the shoulder blades behind and come down. I'm just gonna move into a small twist here. So keeping the pelvis and everything as it where it is, bring the hands onto the ribs and get the ribs to move, so you're moving from the ribs, moving and twisting to the left, and you're gonna hold, but breathe. So you're not using your hands to hold you here. Your abdominal muscles are holding you here. And then come back, take a breath. Exhale, twist to the other side. So it's your thoracic spine that's twisting here. So I'm not, my pelvis is exactly where it is, stable. And then come forward. And now just like you're taking the top off a jar, we're gonna keep the roots where they are and even just try to rotate here from the chest. So almost like I'm, so it's a very small movement. Take a breath. And exhale, come forward. And again, on the other side, so I'm just gonna switch my hands. Take a breath in and exhale, twist, just twist the chest to the left while the roots are kind of going in the in towards the right. Oh, even though you may not feel very much of a movement there. But, so rolling the shoulders. Take a big breath in. Exhale out. And now I want you to take your arms and actually first let's switch our legs. And if you're not comfortable sitting here anymore or you want to stand up now or come on your knees or sit on a chair, Great. If you sit on a chair, try to get your knees at a 90 degree angle. Sometimes it may mean that you need to put something under your feet. But if not, we are going to just extend the arms now out towards our side, out towards our side, and press through the palms. So you're pressing out through each side. Check in. Make sure you're not stressing anywhere. You're not tensing the face or the shoulders or the belly here. So you're just breathing and you're pushing out. And now I just want you to bring the arms behind, like you're bringing the shoulder blades together and you're pushing the shoulder blades together and come back. Take a breath here and then exhale again, push back. Come forward, take a breath. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, bring the arms back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. No pain, no tingling, no numbness or anything. Now let's bring the arms down, give them a little shake. Take a breath in, a big breath out. Notice how you feel, notice how your shoulders feel, your neck. And 
one more time. We're going to do that again. So we're going to extend the arms out to the sides. But this time, I want you to, like you're bringing the arms, the hands down. So the arms in the shoulders are like the external rotation in the shoulder joint. And then you're taking the fingers and pointing them down or back behind you. Take a breath here. Exhale, release. And one more time. So you're just putting the arms behind. So the, the arms are rotating in the shoulder joint and then the hands are reaching back behind you. And release and shake that out. Come back to your breath. Close your eyes. Notice how you feel. Notice if you started to tense up anywhere in the body. And I'm reminding you to let all of that go. No tension. We're moving in ease tonight. Okay. So now we're going to take the strap. And again, it's maybe a time where you want to you feel like standing up or changing your position. So we're just taking this strap and we're going to um, hold it above our head. So not too close, just where it's comfortable for you. And all I'm going to do is make circles. So I'm just taking the strap and I, like I'm making circles on the ceiling with my fists. So we're going one way. So now be careful that you're not hinging from the ribs, okay? Keep the ribs down, just the arms reaching up and we're doing little circles one way and then the other way. So again, we're working in the shoulders, opening the chest, strengthening the upper back, helping with our posture here. So now what I want you to do is almost pull back in a diagonal direction. So I didn't really twist a whole lot in my body. I mean, you were to twist a little, but I'm just mostly just bringing one arm back and then pulling it back, pulling that arm back. Take a breath here and then come forward. And then again, the other arm is kind of moving back and like pulling diagonally and take a breath. Exhale, bring the arms up and then bring the arms down. Another shoulder roll perhaps, or let's give the wrists a little shake. Bring the arms up, bring them out to the sides. Take a breath and notice how those shoulders feel, how your chest feels, your neck. I want to put the strap aside and now we're going to come onto our hands and knees. So I'll, I have a blanket for underneath my knees for comfort. Um, I'm just going to go over this one time again. I know I've gone over it before, but just for anybody who may be new, if you don't like being on your knees, if you can put something like a pillow here, and then you can come on your hands and knees, and then I'm more on my shins here than on my knees. So then it'll take anybody, any bit of pressure off your knees. So, so when you're on your knees, your hands are shoulder width distance apart, and your hands are under the shoulders, so directly under the shoulders. Wide palms and the knees are underneath the hips and are hip width distance apart. So you want to feel like your shoulder blades are flat on your back and you don't want to have this arch in your lower back. You want to make sure that your ribs are in. So I like to do this kind of, I'm pushing out of the floor, but I also kind of like that feeling we're going to, almost like I'm I'm turning my hand to the right, but it's causing almost my elbows to come a little forward, but the action is more in the shoulders when I do this. So I feel very stable in the shoulders. 
And how you know you have this stability is when you feel like your, your armpits are kind of hollowed out, okay? Don't worry if you don't get it today, you eventually will. So I'm just do that so that I feel very stable in the shoulders. And now I'm just moving my hips back and forth, just a little bit of movement before we begin. And I'm gonna go into a few rhomboid push-ups right now. So right now my shoulder blades are flat on my back. And now I'm going to let the shoulder blades come together and it's a very small movement. So I'm not moving my arms, I'm letting my shoulder blades drop together, pull the shoulder blades together, and then I'm pulling them apart. So you see, it's not a very big movement. I'm not coming down with my arms. I have a little bit of a bend in my elbow. I don't want to lock my arms out. Just a little bit of a bend. And again, it's just my shoulder blades come together, and then my shoulder blades come apart. Shoulder blades together, shoulder blades apart. Okay, and we're gonna breathe. So as you come down your shoulder blades, um, come together, you're going to exhale. So breathe and you're going to push them apart. Exhale. No, actually, exhale, come down. Inhale, come down. Exhale, push up. Inhale, squeeze the elbows or the shoulder blades together. Exhale, come up. So moving your own breath. Very, very small movement, but lots of work happening here. So your shoulders, your upper back between your shoulders probably getting really tired already. So staying with your breath. Keeping the chin in, so the neck nice and long in the back. So your gaze is down between your hands. And whenever you need a rest, go into child's pose or come up into your knees. So I'm just gonna do a couple more here. Very small movement. See if I can do one more. Exhale. Now come down into our child's pose. So I like child's pose, taking the knees to each end of the mat and then joining my toes in the middle and reaching back in my bum to come down. I still don't want to arch in my back, okay? I want to keep the ribs in and then slide down towards the floor, resting my head on the floor. But if your head does not come to the floor, don't worry. Put your pillow there and come down and rest on your pillow. So you're in child's pose. Take some big breaths there. Connect back to the breath. Notice how your body feels. And let the belly expand on your inhale. And feel it gently. Come back towards the spine on your exhale. Just taking a second to ground yourself, to rest. And take one last breath here. Big breath, bring it right up to the ribs. Mm. Exhale and come back onto all fours. Now, again, if your wrists are bothering you, um, you can roll up your mat and put your wrists like so. So it's just not, it's just uh, increasing the angle of your wrists. Again, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. I just like to move and wiggle my hips back and forth a little bit. Check in with your back to be arching. So Keep the ribs in, pushing away from the mat. And now we're going to move our knees together. And I want you to cross one knee over the other and open your feet or legs and really wide. You may want to, I need to adjust here. <clears throat> so now when we come back, we're just going to bring, bringing our bum back so that front knee is coming up, okay? I don't know if I should try it this way. So I start with my knees together. I just put one behind the other and then I opened my legs wide. And then I'm gonna rock back. And when I rock back, this knee comes up and then come forward and then coming back. And notice 
what happens when you come back if you're a little wobbly you want to come back with straight with a straight uh, level pelvis so i'm not over to one side or the other reaching back and coming forward again start moving with your breath So I'm moving my bones, my bone back, the knee comes up, take a breath in, exhale, move back, inhale, come up, and now we're going to switch the legs. So again, just uncross um, the knees, give yourself a little shake if you want to come up and give your wrist a little shake, we can do that and take a breath. I think this is the last thing on our hands and knees. So again, hands and knees, hands underneath the shoulders, wide fingers. Bring the knees together in the middle. Now you're gonna cross the other knee over. So the opposite knee, I think I'm just doing the same one. And ribs in, the shoulders, blades are nice and flat like on your back. Pushing out of the pushing out of the um, out of the mat, and now we're going to move back. And, oh, open the legs nice and wide. And make sure the knee, legs or feet are open nice and wide. And coming back. And again, notice if you're coming back straight, or if you're coming back, like if you're wiggling a little bit, or if you're falling over to one side. Just notice. That's all. It just means that there's just a little bit of weakness there, or just something a little different from one side to the other. Not saying there's anything wrong, I'm just noticing the difference. Okay. One more breath, exhale, come back. And then come forward, uncross the legs. I'm gonna tuck my toes and come up on my knees and giving my wrist a shake. Hmm. Okay. Um, so again, you may still want to have your uh, something underneath your knee. So I'm up on my, um, I'm just up straight here now on my knees. And what I want you to do is I want you to bring one leg out to the side and just find your ASISs, your hip bones here, making sure they're nice and level and see how my hip is, my leg is underneath my hip here. And now your foot, like my foot is flat. If your foot don't go flat, that's okay. It comes up on its side a little bit, no problem. So come back to our breath here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just lift the foot off the floor. So you're getting an external rotation in your leg. Okay, so let's move with our breath. Let's relax the whole body. Take a breath in. We don't have to be tensing anywhere um, around the hips or the pelvis anywhere or the shoulders and just lifting the leg up and you'll feel that rotation in this hip, right? So you just, so it's not about the foot moving. It's really about the leg. Think about the leg moving, the big femur bone moving in the hip socket. And that's making the foot come up kind of. That's what you want to focus on. And now this hip may really feel like it's getting tired, which is great. You're just doing some great um, work stabilizing this hip as we're getting mobility in this hip. So again, one more time. Oh, and exhale, come down, and we're gonna move over to the other side. So again, I have my knees, you know, a little bit apart first. And then I have my foot in the back flat, actually. I don't have it tucked. So get yourself situated. It's really good um, if you do use a mirror, if you have one. So again, I'm just, my hands on the hips. Nice and tall spine. And I'm just gonna lift. So rotating. 
getting open. Something just happened to my screen. I hope I didn't lose anybody. And I'm rotating the leg open, closed. Somebody sent me a little message saying that you're still on here because everybody just seemed to disappear all of a sudden off my screen. We're on. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're just externally rotating and coming down. We'll just do one more. Exhale and come down from that. Um, okay, let me see where I'm going with this. Um, we're going to come right into a lunge. So that was kind of a bit of a prep for Warrior Two, which we'll be going into in a bit. Um, so we're going to now go into a whole lunge. So again, you may want your blanket um, for your knee. So again, we're just sitting up and I'm going to step the front foot forward, okay? Or the left foot forward. And um, again, I just want to check in with my hips. I don't want them going off this direction. I want to plug this leg in so my two ASI axes point forward. And I'm going to start walking this front foot out. So I'm in a lunge. Now, what I don't want you to do is to collapse like this into a lunge, okay? I want you to feel, so your knee is underneath, your, your knee is above your ankle here. <clears throat> And I want you to have more of a lunge where you feel like your hips are moving forward and not down. And you don't want these hip bones to be moving down. So the hip bones, like, like um, lights of the car, pointing forward. And I'm going to come into this lunge more thinking about moving my hips forward and not collapsing. So I don't have to move very far. I could collapse right down into a lunge. I don't want to do that. I have this hip that's pushed back. This one's kind of coming forward. and just coming in, feeling a nice stretch in the front of this leg. And now we're going to switch. So take a breath here if you need to. So I'm going to put all my weight here on my left and use a wall if you need to for support getting into this. And again, so I'm in this lunge. I'm going to plug my femur in. I'm going to walk that foot out a little bit, but I'm keeping the, the knee over the ankle here. And I'm in this lunge now, and instead of just like falling, I'm going to just move a little tiny bit forward. And we're going to breathe and you're relax your face. And you're really pushing down or out of the mat. Like there's some, and I'm bringing this hip in. I'm not clenching it, but I'm, this hip is kind of pushing in. There's, I feel very stable around my hips. So just one more breath here. And exhale, come out of that. And now we're gonna come to standing. So just stand up, come to standing and just begin with a bit of movement. So just swing your arms from side to side. <sighs> Notice how you feel. Get a little hop. I like doing a little hop and a little shake. <sighs> swing in the arms. I'm going to take the right arm now and come diagonal across my body. And I'm going to bring it up and then reach it all the way back. And come around and do that again. Big inhale. Don't tense anywhere. Exhale. Bring it all the way back and around. And release. And we'll do the other one. So diagonal across. Uh, up and around. And really bring it all the way back. Uh, shake that out. So that taking our arms behind now, or our hands, clasping them together, bring the elbows in, point the hands down towards the floor. And take some breaths here. Mm. Exhale, release the hands, bring them around again, clasp, clasp, 
with the other pinky on the bottom this time. Bring the elbows in, point the hands towards the floor. Perhaps now bringing the hands away from the bum. Taking a breath. One more inhale and exhale, release that. Whew. Okay. We are going to come into a, um, a bit of a squat, I guess. So let's come into wide legs first. So I'm in uh, just wide, wide stance. My feet are kind of out a little bit at an angle right now. And we're going to get this feeling. So we're going to be coming down the squat. So you want your legs to be a little wide. And as you're coming down in this squat, you want to be just feeling like your just pelvis is moving down. Okay. Like you're just coming down your legs, they're tender or something behind, or you can push into your hands here. So come up. So when we're coming down or how our feet, you know, how our feet are brought out to the side, I want you to think about the leg kind of rotating to bring the foot where it needs to. So both legs kind of rotating in the hip socket and bringing the legs out. So you feel like an external rotation now in the legs. And now we're going to come down. Now push out of the, all, the whole foot and push up. Okay, and when you're pushing up, it's like your glutes and the back of your body pushing you up. So not your quads so much as your bum, so come down. And now push up and you really feel the contraction going on in your bum. Take a breath, and this time we're going to go down and hold. And as we hold, so you don't have to come down, come where you're comfortable, okay, and where you can hold it for a little bit. But our knees, you might know this one, may want to come in. So you're really pushing the knees out and apart. You can put your hands there and push the thighs into your hands and then come up. Shake it out. And we'll do it one more time. So we're going to really feel like your legs have externally rotated here now and we come all the way down. and hold. Some people may find that they really need to tuck their pelvis under if this hurts their back. So you may have to do a little bit more of a tuck. Take a breath and exhale, come up. Oh, now I want you to just turn that back foot so we can go into a high lunge this time. So with the high lunge, I still have my knee over my ankle and I have this foot, um, I'm up on the toes of this foot, and I have a bit of a bend in my knee. Again, I want to put my hands on, so plugging this leg in, putting my fingers on my ASI axis, pointing forward. Ah, and I'm just staying here in this lunge. You can kind of push the heel down towards the floor if you want to get a nice um, stretch the hip flexors again. So just taking a breath here, feeling stable in the hips. And then we're gonna really hop off this back foot and come up to meet the other one, okay? So we're just gonna hop up. Oh, shake it out. Again, we're gonna open the legs really wide now. And again, like don't think about the foot moving more um, as much as the leg externally rotating, okay? And now the feet are out to the sides. And I'm gonna come down to that squat again. We're gonna hold, push into the back, push like your hands are back or push. Take a breath. <laughs> Woo! It's a lot for a Thursday night, isn't it? <laughs> oh, okay, take one more breath here. And exhale. Come up, and now we're going to go on the other side. So doing a high lunge. So I'm just rotating my body over, like I'm on a set of skis. So your legs are apart, and I'm looking at this knee. It's over the ankle. I'm plugging this front leg into the hip right away. My hip bones come forward. I feel really stable here in my hips. 
Ah, nice high lunge. And then if you want, you can push the heel down towards the floor. Hmm. You can have the arms wherever you want, in your thighs, in prayer. So again, it's not about dropping down, okay, as much as it is to get the stretch to move your hips a little forward. Take a breath. And then exhale and come off this leg. Come up. Shake it out and take some breaths. Take a moment to come ground again. Notice what's going on with your breath. And perhaps you are holding your breath a little bit. But trying to move in ease so your body recognizes that this is a good thing. That's not something that we need to run away from, right? As soon as you start breathing really heavy, um, you know, it gives, a, gives your body this, um, we're going to come back into this, this squat, but it gives, you know, it gives the body this fight flight kind of um, response. So again, external rotating the legs, right? The feet come out and then coming down, hold, breathe, relax the jaw and the face. You don't have to come down this far and come down this far. Okay. It's not wherever you are today. Respect that. Appreciate that. And take one last breath here if you can, and exhale, come up. So one breath. And exhale, pushing up, really feeling it in the glutes. Ah, so now, warrior two. So this, like, so we did this external rotation in the hips. So now this foot, you're going to just point it forward. And this foot back here, you can just bring it um, like parallel with the back of the mat, but really wherever that's comfortable. Just want you to really feel like you have this external rotation going on in, so that, so the pelvis, see, it did move a little bit. It's not supposed to be square because you moved your foot um, to point forward. So my foot is pointing forward. This foot is parallel to the back of the mat. For me, I like my heel kind of lined up with the arch of my foot, but really wherever is comfortable for you. And I can probably so my AS is 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 trying to keep them level. So you don't want to come in like this. Some people come in like this. We want the pelvis to be level. Check your AS is. Uh, wide toes. And now to come right into warrior, I like to bring my palms facing up towards the ceiling to just open up my shoulders again. You can gaze over the front arm if you want into warrior two. Hmm. One more breath here. Oh, and come up. Let's pivot to the feet together again. You can go heel toe, heel toe, come together. Oh, shake that out. And we're going to come into that squat again. So when I'm opening my legs, I'm really thinking about externally rotating in the hips. My feet are turning out to the side, sorry, excuse me. And then we're gonna come down again, okay? So nice, straight back, just a movement of moving down, okay? You're not coming forward, just moving down as far as it's comfortable for you. Take a breath, check in. And we're gonna do one more breath here. Big breath in and slow push out, feeling the glutes pushing you up. Ah. And now coming into warrior two on the other side. So you got that external rotation going on in this leg, toe pointed forward, and this foot will fall where it's comfortable, okay? Just let that foot go where it's comfortable. And now you're kind of sinking down, but again, remember we're coming down. We're not. And you should kind of have evenly distributed weight on both feet. However, you're going to feel a lot of work in this leg. And again, just like we did before, you've got to be pushing that leg back because it's going to want to come in. So push it back. You can put your hand behind your thigh here and push in 
to the hand. And now you can take your hands up and bring the ceilings or palms of the hands up to the ceiling and take a breath. You can bring your gaze over the front arm if you want, or even the back. A big breath, smile on your face. Release, release any tension anywhere between the eyes or the jaw. Check in with your breath. And now we're going to come up and we're going to pivot the toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels. Ah, shake it out if you want. Another little swing of the arms back and forth. And just come and stand into the asana. So wide toes, pushing out of the mat. Even feeling like even still putting that little bit of external rotation in the hips. So almost like your feet, they're not moving, but like you're going to come out to the sides. So you feel that external rotation in the hips. Maybe perhaps if you're hanging out more over the ankles, you should be able to look down and see. You shouldn't be hanging out over your feet. So you should be able to bring your bum back. Ah, shoulders roll back. Big breath in, big breath out. See if you can feel a little bit of ease in this standing posture. You may need to tuck the chin a little just to elongate the neck and the back. Mm. Breath. Okay, so I think we're going to go into, um, I think we're going to go into just a psoas release now. So get your block and um, you may want to get to next to a wall as well. Um, so you're going to put the block down and you're going to stand on the block. And you want to stand on it, I should do this side. Um, it's most important that your heel is on the block more than your toes. So if your bulker block is not long enough, just make sure your heel is on it. So when I'm standing here on this, you want to make sure that your hip does not poke out to the side, okay? So I'll just show you here. I'll hold on to this chair. So I'm standing and I don't want this hip to come out to the side. So I want to really bring the hip in. The foot is straight. And all you're going to do is you want to feel very tall. So you want to feel like you're just elongating out of the hip, the leg is. And then chest, you don't want to extend, remember, in the ribs. So just standing up nice and tall. And you just want the other leg to feel like it's just hanging. Like just let it all go. So as soon as you turn. Pull in this hip, that other hip is aligned, and you're just going to gently rock that leg or swing that leg back and forth. But just like it's on a pendulum, so you don't want to be moving in the knee and swinging the knee, and you don't want to be moving so that your hips and everything are moving like back and forth like this. You just really want to be standing up tall out of that standing leg and just swing the other leg back and forth. Very small swinging. You're going to feel a lot of action going on in the standing hip. I'll take a break and you can always switch sides whenever you're ready. I'll just simply swing. And this is releasing the big psoas muscle that attaches to um, our spine. And it's the biggest muscle attached to our spine and moves down to our leg attaches to the femur and it's often really short because or stiff or never relaxed because it's always engaged usually when we're standing or walking sitting oh, okay come down stand on both feet notice how that feels Breath in. Mm. We're 
and move to the other side. So I'll do it from the side this time. So standing on, I'm gonna hold onto the wall for a bit of support, pushing out of this leg, and this one is just gonna swing. So I'm not doing this, and I'm not like arching the back, I'm just letting it fall. Feel like it's falling right out of the socket. And then a little tiny swing back and forth. You may notice a big difference in both legs. So a lot of work happening in the standing leg. It's good. Nice hip stability going on there. It shouldn't be paining though or feeling uncomfortable or causing you, because causing you to hold your breath or tense up when it's time to take a rest. Come down, notice now how your legs feel. Oh, hopefully it feels really, really good. Um, we are going to come down now onto our back. So laying down on your mat. Um, yeah, yeah. Yes, we'll lay down and move the camera a little closer. <clears throat> so coming down onto your bum and then coming down onto your back. I'm gonna just come down onto my forearms and then move onto the back of my arms and come down. So here, I just want you to feel like your ribs are touching the floor. And we're gonna come into this figure four. So your feet are hip width distance apart and the toes or feet are straight. I want to roll my shoulder blades under so they're nice and flat to the floor. And I'm just going to have my palms facing up towards the ceiling. So I'm just going to stay here for a few breaths first. So there's a little arch in your lower back. So your sacrum is touching um, the floor. So the bottom of your back is, but then you've got that natural arch that so you just don't want your, the bottom of your back completely flat to the floor. I'm just letting go here. You can even rest the knees onto each other if that feels better for you. Now we're going to uh, figure four. So I want you to take the right knee over the left thigh. And without the back, the arch, you want to maintain that arch in your lower back and lift the bottom leg up. Okay, so, but only lift it as far as when I keep lifting, now my back is flat to the floor. Okay. And again, at the stretch, I don't want you to put your hands and hold your leg. And when your leg is up, you might have a tendency to fall over towards the knee that's bent on the top. So just make sure you level that out. So again, that your pelvis is kind of even and the same lateral plane. And so then bringing that knee towards you a little bit more maybe. You can have this bottom leg relaxed. You don't have to have it up. But if you do have it up at 90 degrees, just a little bit more work. And we'll bring that down and move to the other side. So let's just give it a rest first before you move. So come back to the breath. Relax the whole body. And now bringing the left ankle over into the right thigh. And I'm just pushing the leg open a little bit. I'm not pressing and straining. I'm just gently opening the leg 
and then bringing the other, you may, this may be enough for you. You may move from here and just feel your back immediately flatten to the floor. So you can just stay here. Or maybe you just come up on the toe of your bottom foot, or you can just bring the whole foot up. And just choose what is right for you. It's gonna be different for everybody. And again, just make sure you're not falling over to one side, straighten up. Relaxing breaths and let all the energy go to the hips, to the legs to hold you here. Bringing the leg in a little further, perhaps without the back flattening. One last breath and then release the legs. Bring the legs out flat and straight. You can bring, leave the arms out to your sides with the palms facing up. And if there's any last movement that you want here, like if your body is asking you to move in a certain way, go ahead, do that. Otherwise, we are going to be moving right into Shavasana. So you guys can get ready for that. So whatever you prefer. Um, so you're laying flat on your back, you can have something under your head if you want, or something under your knees. Um, you can cover up in a blanket, you can turn on some nice relaxing music. Just going to turn off the lights. That's all good. In position. In position. I'm going to sit up for this. Big breath in through the nose, ah, side out through the mouth. Smile on your face. Trying to connect inward, whatever that means to you. Connecting to your soul, connecting to yourself, connecting to God. Whatever it means to you. Being a witness of your thoughts, but not engaging. With every exhale, you're letting go a little more, a little more. Try to release all your muscles. Try to calm or invite the mind to calm and relax. Bringing your attention to your head and letting the weight of your head sink into your mat. Feel the skin on your face relax and your ears relax. And space between your eyes. Relax the jaw. Space between the back teeth. Take a moment to give thanks for something in your life right now, something you're grateful for, thankful for. Breathe into it and breathe it out. Invite this calm and heavy, relaxed feeling to move down your spine and move out to your shoulders and to your sides. 
full back body. Sinking a little deeper, getting a little heavier. Noticing the shoulders, inviting them to relax. Invite that feeling to move down your arms and into your elbows. Your forearms. 